part of the course John Ellison. Good Friday, 1971, at Oldham Park. The Rothmans Formula One International Trophy. Noticing here with the 72 entering its second full season and the Prattle with the engine turbine car. John Surtees with the TS9 Surtees and the unloved M14A McLaren. That's Rainer Wiesel and Matt Pedro Rodriguez talking to Ellison before the start. He and Howard Galley at a drive BRM. Peter Gethin at the wheel of the McLaren, the sole representative there at Alton on this day. A young Jackie Stewart to drive the Derek Gardner designed Tyrrell that had made its debut at Alton the previous year. Checking the tyres prior to the start, and this is the 30s. Big John still making his way as a constructor. With the exception of BRM, it's the DFV 3 litre Ford unit that powers virtually everything in the field. Out goes Surtees onto a warming up lap. Ken Tyrrell watches the fuel pumped into the car by a new mechanic, Jackie Stewart. In those days, drivers still did things for themselves and checking the tyre temperatures. Derek Gardner on the right of your picture, the designer of the Tyrrell. Out onto the track, the final warming up laps prior to the start. And this is the Lotus Turbine, Rainer Wiesel, the Swedish driver who joined the team at the end of 1970 with Fittipaldi. Pedro Rodriguez, perhaps one of the most underrated drivers of all time. Peter Gethin at the wheel of the 14A McLaren. Marshall's proud of the start, note the hairstyles. And a comparatively small field. Up from the dummy grid, onto the start line, and of course this prior to light starts, the flag drops, away they go, a tremendous start by Surtees who comes up and snatches second place, slotting in behind Rodriguez as they go into Old Hall. Rodriguez in the lead, Surtees in second place, the McLaren in third place, and Jackie Stewart in fourth. Out onto the long circuit, and then diving down through Nickerbrook, sliding a little bit, still Rodriguez in the BRM, with quite a lead now on the new second place man, Peter Gethin, the Surtees has fallen back behind Stewart, And the BRM going beautifully as Colin Chapman watches from the pits. All the road used by Rodriguez. And a firm tussle going on for second and third places between Gethin and Stewart. Surtees dropping back with a problem. And still the BRM dominating the situation. Jackie Stewart with the Tyrrell. Watching from the pits, Derek Gardner and Ken Tyrrell. An eye on the watches. No car-to-car -car radio as Surtees comes in to retire, having blown the engine. A little lappery for the leading BRM and the gap closing between the two, but not significantly. Seven seconds. Spectators in the pits, watching the action out on the circuit. Closing all the time is Jackie Stewart, but the car not as happy on left-hand corners as it is on right-hand corners. on their way towards Druid's corner. And still the BRM very much in charge. Rodriguez to go on to win a Grand Prix before losing his life later in the year. Sliding again through Nickerbrook, a very quick corner in those days. The check and flag and Rodriguez and BRM win. Congratulations for the winning driver. Look out for team manager Tim Parnell about to appear on the left of the picture as the laurels go round the neck of the Mexican. There's Parnell congratulating his driver. Rodriguez's only Formula One win on British soil. 